Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and do our crankshaft installation here. Like every other thing that we've done here, we're going to put some uh, assembly lube on this. Put some oil around here. The big area that we're really thinking about oiling too is ceiling surfaces in here where metal to metal parts are going to ride and then the rod itself where we uh, would have metal to metal contact. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up to where I can get through here. Slide this through. The piston is pushed all the way up to have clearance here. bottomed out and then what I can do is I can rotate it out of the way and then you'll see here back up a little bit there you go all right that looks nice okay now what I'm trying to do is just snug that up here I'm gonna get a little more lube on here I want that to be dry on the cap itself something I like to do is you see this sharp edge here how it's machined. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the matching opposite side over here. And if you just take and set your bolts on here and those aren't lined up, or if you were to if you were to kiss it and these these weren't you know 100 percent lined up, do you see how you'd actually have to drag across that to get it in place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is I want to pinch them and get them in place by hand so that I'm not dragging it across that edge. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go back and, and tighten that up. And these were 9 foot-pounds. And Honda gave us that spec as 9 foot-pounds, right? Yes. Now, what we've seen in the industry and what we know about our tool is that our tool is actually more accurate in two-thirds of its range. So when we have a tool that goes from 5 pounds to 75 foot-pounds, we're at nine. Are we within that two-thirds range? Yeah. At nine pounds? No. Oh no. No, we're not. We're we're uh, at the bottom of the beginning of that tool, so it's not its most effective. So what we've done is we take our nine pounds and we convert it our nine foot pounds, and we're going to convert it to inch pounds here, and we're going to uh, that translates to what, guys? 108. 108 inch pounds. Inch -pounds. Now, we've really seen Harley-Davidson be a leader in providing inch torque pounds as a specification on their smaller fastener. So, to set this torque wrench here, we're just going to crank it up about halfway or so. I'm not going to be precise about it. I'm going to see where I end up. I ended up here at 60 inch pounds, which would be a little, uh, little more than half. Now I'm going to take, and I'm just kissing them, right? And we said well, we could use this to kiss it. And then I'm going to go ahead and torque this. Okay, that's just at 60. Then go up to my 108. Why is it nice to do it in two steps? So you don't over torque, right? Also, so you don't damage fasteners. If there's something wrong at 60, at a smaller, at halfway, you know, there's going to be something wrong at full torque. Right, exactly. Okay. So I'm 108, 108. Before we go to put our case on, we'll make that for the next video. We, uh, when we took these apart, you guys remember that we were intentional and we made our dots onto our belts here to yep. say that's the top side. Yep. That way it's gonna run in that same direction. The other big thing we'll do about the video here is we've got a washer here with a lip and you can start to see that lip in the close up of the video now. You'll see here that when this is in place, the right direction, and I pull up on this here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on wrong. And we could see here that it would actually dig down into the belt and it would be a problem. It would tear that belt up pretty quick. Anybody know what this washer is actually called? It's a thrust washer. So what this does, what happens here is since that washer faces up, do you notice how this is radiused off here? Actually, I'll go on this side. That goes this way and this spins around so that the crankshaft is rubbing against this thrust washer and not the case itself on this side. Okay. Now they're very intentional on thrust washers. I want you to think about something. This is the bottom of the motor right here. <coughs> this is the bottom. So mm -hmm. the weight of the crankshaft, the end player, whatnot, is forcing down against this. The crankshaft isn't going to rub the other side because that's where the gap is. That's gravity is going to push it down. Does that make sense since yep, this yep. is the blade? Yep. 
So that's why the thrust washer is here. Okay. All right. There's gonna be an oil film that goes in between both of those. I'll put those on. 